Hi, I'm Tristy. Over the last few weeks, I've been getting really, really excited about Angular's material design package. And I've been finding all these really, really cool and exciting things um, that I wanted to create some videos on. Um, but there's just so much there that it's really just hard for me to know what people are most interested in and what you're, you know, you kind of want to explore a bit further. I thought what I'd do in this video today is spend just a couple of minutes, walk you quickly through my little side project and the, the different elements of the Angular material package that I've been using there. And as part of that, what I want is just some feedback from you in terms of what you're interested in, what you kind of want to find out a bit more about, and then I'll focus the next lot of videos in that area. So if you are not familiar with Angular Material, you have to go and check out uh, material.angularjs.org. Please go and have a look at this. If you've been using Bootstrap and you start to move across to using Angular Material, uh, it's it's almost like, like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just, there's just so much more you can do and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very exciting. So I'm going to jump over to um, the app that I'm going to show you. I'm just going to do a quick refresh so I can show you a couple things. Just give that a second to load. So here is my little side project. As you notice, there's some little slide uh, transitions that we've got down the bottom here. Uh, I'll start from the top just so I uh, don't miss too much. So at the very top, we've got some share buttons that you know, let us obviously share the app. We've got uh, uh, these different components in a grid format that take up the whole page. So they stretch all the way, um, which uh, as you know, if, you, if you've been using Bootstrap, that's not always easy to do. Um, I've got a little search bar here, um, again, with some, with some transitions. Um, I've got a little floating fab over here for creating new records. Um, down the very bottom over here, I've got a bottom sheet. So when I click on get started, um, I've got some options for some, some buttons that come up down the bottom here. So that the, the home page, then I'll just jump into a record. I've got themes. So the colors at the top and the, that are actually splitting up this page, um, are all different hues of themes. So they're sort of a one touch change and that will change across the app. Again, I've got the, the floating fab. I've got some floating edit and start share buttons over here. I've got a sidebar, which actually collapses as well. So if I make that smaller and when it gets too small, um, you'll see that we actually collapse it with um, a little uh, toolbar here. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else can I show you? Updating a record, so if I want to update something, I jump page, I've got some, um, some uh, file upload and using um, Angular Material field so you can see the, the field name and then when you start to type into it, it, it sort of moves around for you, which is, which is kind of cool too. Um, I've also got um, an area for profile. If I wanted to go and have a look at um, um, products that I have actually um, put up. I can see them here. So I've got a profile. Um, I can see my projects. Um, even this kind of layout um, to be able to have a, a full line from top to bottom um, content window um, that looks like it's kind of um, hovering kind of over the background but still aligned with the top. We've got some tabs here. Again, um, we've got the, the little fab um, down the bottom as well. So there are just a quick couple minutes just, just showing you some of the, the kind of things that um, we can explore as part of um, Angular material. Um, you really, really need to get into that if you, if you haven't already. Um, so tell me what you're interested in, what you like. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Um, please check out bossball.com for more details. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again soon.